In this video I want you to learn how the feedback effect of thyroid hormone really works. As you know that the concentration of free T3 and T4 is physiologically active, and especially T4 is mainly responsible for the feedback effect. If there are such conditions in which there is increased concentration of free T4 hormone, this increased concentration of T4 inhibit the hypothalamic nuclei especially the paraventricular which releases the TRH. This causes the reduced production of TRH which ultimately reduces the TSH production by therotrops. The tyrotrosol of the anterior pituitary lobe is also inhibited by increased concentration of free T4. Let's see. When the free T4 enters into the tyrotro, it is converted into T3 with the help of 5' diiodinase enzyme present in the tyrotrosol. This T3 downregulate the receptor present on the cell membrane. As a result TSH production is reduced and may reach up to zero level. This decreased production of the TSH causes the decreased production of the T3 and T4 from the follicular cell of thyroid gland. This is all about feedback inhibition of anterior pituitary gland by free T4. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.